Watch you guys, got another video here for you on how to check your hard drive's health in Windows 10. Now if you've got Windows 10 installed on your system and even if you've got older versions of Windows you can still use some of these methods. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can check our hard drive's health. I'm going to show you a bunch of different ways. So go to search and type CMD. Inside here, you'll need to type in this command, which is WMIC space disk drive space get space status comma space model. And once you type that in like that and push enter, you'll get a, a bit of information about the drive itself. You can see it's showing me all the drives that are plugged in on this computer and it says the status is OK. If it says failed, or something like that you know that drive is going bad or it is bad and you need to replace it now that's a really basic test I'm going to show you some more advanced tests here this is probably one of the best tools for a PC technician or a tool that you're going to need if you want to check your hard drive it'll give you a bunch of different information it's called clear disk info and you can get it from currythread.com he's the guy that makes those awesome tools like uh, tech tool store and also uvk so if you haven't heard of this website then check it out and put it in your favorites it's an awesome site for all these sort of software so let's get this program open and we can take a look at what it has to offer so you can see here it's already shown us all the um, drives on the system now up on the right hand side we have a menu which allows you to do a bunch of stuff like export to text file auto update also check the disk for errors you can check and repair this disk and optimize this disk you can do this via windows but it does a nice little feature in here which allows you to do it straight from here also you can see it will list out all of the hard drives that are on this system it will give you your power on counts your power on cycle it also works in like a traffic light system green yellow and red and it will tell you the information about solid state drives, hard drives. It will tell you the percentage of life remaining on that solid state drive, which is a nice little feature as well. And it also tells you the temperature. Now, this is a great way of reading the smart information and checking whether that drive is bad. It will show up with some yellow marks and also red. Red is critical. You got yellow equals important and also blue equals uh, information. And basically that's what it's going to show you here. So you can read all of this sort of information and it will tell you whether you've got any major issues with your solid state drive or drive. Now you can see here, you can run check disk from here as well, which is a really nice added bonus. This is another way of testing the drive to see if it's bad. You can also type Y for dismounting the drive and it will automatically run a check disk on there. And you can see it's just doing a quick check disk on that drive there. So you can do it from here, very simple and easy to do. You can check all of your drives out, whether they're USB flash drives. You can also save that information to a text document and read that information here, which will give you useful information about the drive itself. You can also right click on a drive like this and go to properties. This will allow you to open up the properties pane and then go to the tool section of uh, that window and then you'll be able to run error checking on that drive just like you see me do previously you can also optimize and defrag that drive from this location as well so that's basically how you can do it with that software and also within windows as well so it's useful to know all of these places you can just click on the error check in here and you can see this drive doesn't need to be scanned you can either scan that drive and check for errors but we don't need to do that because we're okay with uh, this drive now also if you've got solid state drives normally uh, solid state drives will come with their own software like Samsung it's called magician software this will also have a bunch of features on here to run to check and benchmark your solid state drive now this is just for Samsung drives so if you've got another type of drive like a data they do have their own software as well it's not as good as Samsung software but you can always use the other software which I showed you previously to get information about that drive so whatever you want to use you can either use the manufacturer software or you can use that piece of software there the good thing about the software 
from uh, Kari Fred is basically it will tell you a lot more information about that drive than what a data software will do so very useful now if you've got a mechanical drive then you can use other software like C tools this is for Seagate hard drives you can download this software and run checks on that drive this is essential and it will check sector by sector you can do just quick checks and it will tell you whether the drive is in good health or whether it is failing as soon as you find out the drive is failing you need to start thinking about backing up that data and replacing that drive data lifeguard diagnostics for windows is for western digital drives and you can also use toshiba which is owned by western digital now and you can use their software as well or you can use the western digital software which should work with that as well and it will allow you to check that drive and see whether there's any problems with that drive so let's just go ahead and download this so i can show you what it looks like seagate for windows download that piece of software there get it downloaded and then all we need to do is install it and run a check on that drive that you want to do a check on now the good thing about this is this is great for mechanical drives and it's a good way to determine whether the drive is failing it also gives you a bunch of other information on here like the warranty status of that drive and a bunch of other information which i'll go through in a second so let's get it opened and take a look accept the license agreement and get the software open so we can take a look at what it looks like this is it right here very basic looking but it does what it needs to do you can choose which drive you need to scan which is this one which is my seagate drive and again you can see here up the top we've got some basic tests we can fix all fast and long we've got smart check which is your smart uh, reading we've also got short drive self test and we've also got some other ones in here let me just quickly do a short test here just for this video just to show you how it works and you can have a good look at some of the other more in-depth tests on this if you want to if you've got problems with your drive you can see that's run a test on the drive it did take a bit longer than that i've just speeded that process up and it says the test has passed you want to do a longer test to make sure that drive is fully functional and working okay you've got a bunch of other stuff inside here as well now you can see here also you've got your pass information here and your warranty checker you can check the warranty on that drive to see whether it's still in warranty and you can also view all the log files for the information that you've just done on that drive like checking the drive now you can use all these tools in conjunction with each other to determine whether your drive is failing or not if you want to check system information and get some information about your disks you can type system information in the search and then go up to the top here and then you want to navigate to summary system summary then components then storage and then disks and this will tell you all the information about the disks on your drive and this is built into windows all versions of windows and it will tell you exactly what partitions are on there whether it's a fixed hard drive and it will give you a load of other information about that disk now unfortunately it's not going to tell you whether the disk is in good health or bad but it will give you the name of the drive if you don't know what that drive is inside your system also the other piece of software i showed you will also tell you the information about that drive also which means you can do a search on google for it and it should tell you what that drive is if it has some sort of letters and numbers on there so let's take a look at one more bit of kit here we're going to go into task manager here and take a look here you should see some information about disk now sometimes uh, you can get some information inside here this is normally used when you're getting 100 percent disk usage and you can normally determine what's going on it should tell you the name of the drive here and you get some uh, basic information like read and writes and also active time and average response time and also what capacity of that drive is and whether it's using a page file and system disk and stuff like that so you get all this sort of information inside here and this is quite useful you can also go into the open resource monitor which will allow you to determine what is using all of the resources on that drive and it will basically help you troubleshoot if you're having issues like 100% uh, disk usage and stuff like that this is how you're going to be testing that inside here you can find out what process it is track it down and find out and stop it and find out what that program is and it maybe it's a, a corrupt install or maybe it's a, a bit of malware on there that's uh, using all your utilization up or maybe it's something else like a program rogue program in there which is poorly coded and it's using a lot of your uh, disk drive 
Also, one last thing I just want to show you here, which is Crystal Disk Info. This was a, a tool that I used to use a few years ago, but now I use Kyrie Fred's tool because I think it's much better than this Crystal Disk Info. But again, whatever floats your boat, you can use whatever tool you like. This is another tool that will tell you some information about the drives in your computer. It will list all the drives on that computer. So let's get it downloaded and I'll quickly show you this one and then we can wrap the video up. So let me just download this and open it up so you can see it. So I'm going to quickly install this onto the system and you would do this on the computer that you want to actually test the drive to see whether there's bad information about that drive. So basically open the software up and it will give you a readout of what's going on here. You can see health status says good. And now if this is yellow or red, then it's time to start thinking about replacing that drive. It also tells you the temperature and it'll also tell you any critical warnings or any other sort of information like read and write information, power on cycles and also uh, power on hours and things like that. Unsafe shutdowns. It'll give you a bunch of information on here, which is the smart information, which is very useful to try and determine whether a, a drive is actually starting to fail. And this sort of software is the sort of software that I would use straight away to find out whether the drive is in good health or not. And then you can run more further tests if you find out there is some bad readings there. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this video helps you out a little bit. If it did, then give it a thumbs up and I shall see you again for another video tomorrow. Thanks again. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.